YouTube, two days on and um, I'm already back at the Kringwinkel Run again. Uh, well, because I was making the video from uh, Monday and then I was uh, realizing why the hell didn't I take all the Disney DVDs for uh, a single euro piece. So uh, as I had to pass here now, I'm just gonna swiftly in quickly, grab all the Disney DVDs and then I'll uh, go back to you and uh, let you see what I found and how much I paid. Even though there probably will be some more that uh, will go to Nashi's collection, so see you in a while! Okay, back outside with a lot more than we bargained for. Starting with a PlayStation 2 game, Ghost Hunter. It was 3 euros and then a whole lot of DVDs of 1 and 2 euros. Mickey's Christmas Magic, Pixar short films, The Book of Winnie the Pooh, Princess Stories 2, Volume 1 and 3 is also in the stack. Mickey Mouse, Princess Stories. Princess and the Frog, Wally, -E, Jungle Book, other princess stories, Bambi, Tarzan, and Mary Poppins. So they're all uh, Disney, but I also got this bag of toys. So I got a, a Disney car for Thorin and a Boomba car for Thorin. But they're not gonna be resellable. Then I got this uh, cute hamburger toy, a wind up Megatron, uh, a Starscream action figure, a pullback. Uh, Scooby Doo, uh, C, Burger King, Bad Girl, and a Superman figure. So, that's not all that I got. It was uh, all in all 25.25. So, I know the DVDs are gonna be a part of Nashi. That's the bill. But I also have my client card now, meaning that um, every time I buy something, I'll get a 5% on the card, and after 10 purchases, it's deducted. So, more uh, cheap stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hello, everyone. As you could already see in the intro, I went back to uh, the Goodwill store <laughs> with a fresh haircut. Um, I was there the Monday. We're now uh, Wednesday when I'm taping this, so that's only two days later because when I was editing or putting together, because I can't call this uh, stuff that I'm doing editing, I'm still learning. I realized why the hell did I take every Disney movie they had there because uh, one, I don't know if Nash has a ball and two, they're flippable. If there's one franchise that if uh, you can't do anything with it you can uh, sell on again, it's Disney. So yeah, that's why I went there again. Uh, one moment, there's something I got to show you. I also got this. They now have a loyalty card and whenever you do a purchase they will put 5% uh, percent of the value on this card and when you have 10 purchases you will get it as a discount and uh, well it's more free stuff so I can uh, save Goodwill Goods and get free stuff in the end as a bonus so it's a win-win so if you're a Belgian and you're going there ask one of those cards but uh, I have to say, uh, you already saw a quick pause by uh, when I got outside the store, but uh, now we're gonna talk a bit of it in detail about uh, all the stuff that I got. Uh, I didn't only buy Disney DVDs, so uh, let's have a closer look at what I found and how much it was. So, Mickey's Christmas Magic uh, was a, a Euro DVD, so it's good. It's Disney. Then uh, more Mickey Mouse in living colors. Also, uh, this was a two Euro DVD because uh, when it's a double box, it's two euros, so you're actually paying one euro per disc inside, so still a good value. Uh, I might bundle them together and do them away for uh, like five or something. I've got uh, the book of Winnie the Pooh, which is a, well, uh, a dull version of Winnie the Pooh. Uh, haven't seen it yet, so I'm going to watch this first. Uh, and if I like it, I'm going to keep it for the little guy, so uh, that was also a euro. Then uh, the collection of short movies from uh, Pixar, so this has a... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, well, about ten uh, short movies on it, so it was a euro. It's Pixar, so I took it along. Then we have the two disc version, so two euros for this one of Bambi. Huh. There's always a classic game that's Bambi, yeah. We can all cry when uh, his mother dies. Then there was a Jungle Book 2 for a euro. Uh, box is in French, but it's spoken in uh, Dutch, English, and uh, French, also subtitled. I've got Wally. -E. You always love your Wally, -E. so this one I'm gonna keep for myself. Zero. Then I got a volumes 1, 2 and 3 of the uh, Disney stories, uh, princess stories, so uh, I'm gonna just bundle this and toss them as a one set of five. 
so small margins, so I'm not here for uh, making the millies, yet. <laughs> and then I've got uh, three DVDs which will be going to Nashi because she doesn't have them. Uh, she collects the one with the golden numbers down here, the Disney classic, so that's uh, the Princess and the Frog. In the collector box it's Dajan, and it's the special edition double DVD of Mary Poppins, so that's uh, five euros uh, of my total that's uh, for her, so I'm, uh, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Then I also found, uh, as you could see, a video game, PlayStation 2 game, Ghost Hunter. I actually played this when I still uh, was in my PlayStation 2 uh, years, and yeah, it's quite a fun game actually, so it's a bit special. Uh, well, it's a shoot 'em up story-like thing. It's not Ghostbusters, it's a bit more serious, but only a bit, but uh, I love playing this game, so pure out of nostalgia I grabbed it. And then I got this uh, bag of toys, which I flipped through quickly in uh, the little video to be as well. And let's look. We have a Donald Duck full card. So, it's always fun. Uh, this was a Yudo. I think I'm gonna give it to Torin as well. Then there was one that I'm definitely giving to Torin. Uh, where is it here? That is a Boomba car. It was Yudo 50. It's quite big and heavy. It's strong plastic. But Boomba is like a phenomena here in uh, Belgium, Europe, uh, Holland, France. It's uh, a little clown who always says Boomba and Boombaloo, and I find it terrible to watch, but uh, all the kids love it, so uh, he's gonna have uh, himself a nice cool car to uh, play with. It was Euro 50, it was also the most expensive thing, bar the PlayStation 2 game that I bought, because the PlayStation 2 game was 3 euros. And I think it's still a sealed Burger King toy, it was a uh, half a euro. It's, uh, yeah, Funko Pop style, bad girl. So, it's pretty cool, DC license, so uh, not half a year though, couldn't pass that up. I mean, I like my McDonald's and my Burger King toys, like yeah, the next guy. And there was this uh, also half a year though, kind of a uh, built action figure. I know I saw it somewhere, uh, I know the line, it's. Uh, I didn't believe it, well, maybe it was McDonald's, I'm not sure, but uh, it's a star screen figure so yeah that, that's always cool there's a bit of articulation for the arms and uh, the middle but uh it was half here so who can pass on star scream and of course when you say star scream you have to have the leader as well and it's also half hero it's a wind up toy of megatron look at him go look at him go so yeah uh, this one i definitely didn't pass away uh, especially also half hero so Two bad from two different lines, or I could bundle them up. <laughs> no, because I'm actually keeping them. I love my kind of spiders. And this one is pretty cool. It's uh, well, it rolls along. You pull it up, and then uh, he pulls the ghost back. It's a pull card of Scooby Doo chased by a ghost. And, and then when the card goes, the ghost just flies uh, behind him. So yeah, was half hero as well. So uh, these are the, like the little knickknack toys that. Uh, you just look for an, uh, all the rummaging things, I don't even know, yeah. this was by a quick, it's uh, something like McDonald's and uh, Burger King, but it's a Belgium um, chain, and uh, I'll tell you, their giants are way better than a Big Mac. And another uh, hamburger toy, this one was 75 cents, it's a Superman with arm swinging motion. But it's Superman, and everybody needs his soups in his life, so yeah. Can I? <laughs> yep. I think I still have one more toilet. No, that was it. That's everything that I got, and I paid for the whole shebang. 25 25 so take off the 5 euros of the DVDs from Nashi, that's 20 euros. Take off the 1 euro and a half from a. Uh, Torin for his car that makes it uh, 1925, 1875 euros. Then uh, minus one euro for my two transformer toys. So and my bad girl. So you have, yeah, it's been about 70 euros. Great for non-personal collection stuff. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But that's uh, my loot of my second visit in one week to the same second hand store. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.